You are about to listen to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening to us at MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, fists in the air. Alright, we got Ethan Brosh in person interview with Maximum Threshold Radio Show. How you doing right. today, Ethan? I'm, I'm doing great. Just finished playing, opening for Malmsteen, and I can hear Malmsteen ripping it right behind us. So it's an exciting day. Now I get a chance to review your stuff. Uh, awesome. And I have a, you just released a new album. What's the name of the album? The album is called Live the Dream. It's actually unreleased, and I'm just pretty much starting to release it here on the tour so it's like a tour exclu exclusive i guess and uh, it will be released later on this year very cool yeah now where are you based out of and i don't mean like currently where are you from originally oh i grew up in israel israel so, yeah shalom shalom <laughs> so that that's 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 all i can say uh, you that's know it. yeah that's that you said it very well <laughs> good well, I see that you worked with some big names in the industry. You worked with Dave Elfson, you worked with George Lynch. Yes. What was it like working with Dave? With Dave Elfson? Yeah. It's awesome. I love Dave. Dave's awesome. Dave is a guy that I really respect. Of course, he's an awesome, awesome bass player. But one thing that I have a lot of respect for him is that he's a really down-to-earth, you know, does business very, very well. And it's just like, you know, like you text him, he answers you in a second, and it's just like he's always on top of things. You can see that he's like, in a way, the ma mastermind behind Megadeth. So, yeah, I, I love Dave Ellison. He's a great guy, and uh, yeah, he's a good friend. And uh, when you were, uh, I just watched a video earlier today that you recorded with George Lynch. Oh, awesome. And I uh, had a question. It looked like you guys were like MMA fighters getting ready to duke it out. <laughs> as the set of like, man, I think we just going to punch each other out in the head. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I know, he but. You didn't, he didn't try to force you to lift weights with him, did he? <laughs> no, that, um, that would have been nice, yeah, but we really didn't have time that day, I can tell you that. <laughs> so, uh,. He would kill me at the gym, though. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a big boy. He's a big boy, yeah. So, uh, do you prefer making instrumental records compared to ones with vocalists? I know you do both, so I don't know, is one you preferred or...? I, I, I find instrumental records to be a lot more difficult to do. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's very challenging. I don't know if... I don't know if I prefer it, you know, I I appreciate both. And I really do. So okay. yeah. Now normally we ask some screwed up questions on our show just oh, to yeah. make people laugh. Sure. Like if you were a tree, what kind of tree you would be. But no, that's not your question. What, what is it? You're, I didn't even hear you. Normally we'd ask crazy questions yeah. like if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Oh. But no, you get if you were a guitar, what kind of guitar would you be? Oh. Hmm. Well, no one asked me this question before, so let me think. Well, when we got George Lynch last time, we asked him all about trannies at his shows. So you got you got enough light today. <laughs> um, what guitar would I be? I would be a guitar. I'll, I'll give you this. I would be a guitar that stays in fucking tune. <laughs> I'd be a guitar that sounds good. Um, be a guitar that's really easy to change strings on. Um, be a guitar that's really, you know, really beautiful with cool graphics with like super jumbo frets. And um, yeah, you know, just a little bit beat up, you know, not like super brand new, you know, so like you don't, you're not afraid of like dropping me or something. You know, something. Now, if you were that said guitar, would you be embarrassed? To like say be played by like uh, Christina Aguilera or someone like that at one of their shows, or would um, you want yeah. more of a metal person playing you? Um, hey, if Christina Aguilera would play me, <laughs> I'll, oh. I'll go for it. So if Christina Aguilera wants to play with your wood, she can't. <laughs> well, uh, you know. I I prefer not to answer this on the air. You know? It's okay. We just we make a lot of jokes, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no harmless. 
But now this, I normally to ask you how the tour is going so far, but can't answer that question because today is the first night of the tour. That's right. So far, it's only madness. Everything's on ten. Everything is rushed. Everything's crazy. You know, no sound check. Just go, 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 go. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, I can't tell you of uh, the. I believe you played five or six songs tonight. Yes. Uh, one of my favorites was the second to the last song, which was a very soft. Yes. That was beautiful. Which what was the name of that song? What was this that one? On? This one is on my new record. The record is called Live the Dream, which I feel like now, you know, being on tour with Malmsteen, who's one of my, you know, biggest influences growing up. And um, that specific tune is called Clean Slate. Get it? <laughs> yes. It's a beautiful a beautiful song. Yeah. Now your opening song tonight. What was that called? That was pretty rocking. Uh, this one is The Hitman, which is the first song on my first record. And, That's cool. Um, and I see that you play on stage with your sister, and you had a friend come from Italy as well. Yes. And where was your drummer from? Drummer is from uh, up there in Massachusetts. You know, oh, so, a, lo a local compared to the other two. Yeah, he's a local. Yeah, it's just like I, I met him only recently, but you know, I love the guy, and man, is is he. A great drummer, like one of the best I've ever played with. It's ridiculous. So, all right, I have one last question. It's, yeah, his name is that. By the way, his name is John Anthony, and uh, just wanted to say, you know, because I've played with a lot of drummers, and he's a drummer that not only has all the chops that you will ever need, but he can like get stuff off the record, like note for note, and. The thing I love about him the most is that he keeps everything so solid and he doesn't speed up and it's just awesome, you know, I, it's so hard to find in a drummer, I can't, I can't tell you. Who would you like to share the stage with, dream guitar wise? Now this has to be a living person, it can't be like say Jimi Hendrix, you gotta, who's currently playing right now that you would just love to like co-do a project with or just a song? A guitar player? It could be anybody, it could be a singer, it could be a guitar player, just another musician or artist that you would like to do a thing. Um, just one. Any anyone from anyone from Iron Maiden. If I could do something with Bruce Dickinson or with Adrian Smith or Dave Murray, Dave Murray. Um, That's a good answer. Yeah. You Iron know, Maiden Iron Maiden it got me into playing guitar. They're still my favorite band, my all-time favorite band. Always were, always will be. And um, yeah, I, you know, I would love to do that. Or um, it would be nice, very nice to play with Ozzy and David Coverdale. You know, so I've got friends that played in both of those bands. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, you know, it's like if there's a, if anyone out there knows of an 80s, a huge 80s metal band looking for a guitar player, hey, I'm ready to go. <laughs> so. Uh, now, are you you're from Israel originally? Originally from Israel. How old were you when you came here? Um, I kind of don't want to date myself. That's the thing. So, um, well, I'm but yeah, how I was. You are now. I'm asking how old I was. Uh, yeah, I was like. No, I was like 21. 21. So, yeah. Well, the United States is glad to have you here. And the uh, music community is glad to have you here. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank We're you very much. We're going to have you do a, a station promo for us before you leave. Sure. Just state your name, who you are, and as you listen to Maximum Threshold, and you can say anything you want at the end of it. This is Ethan Broche, and you're listening to Maximum Threshold, the craziest radio show you'll ever hear, so check it out. Rock and roll. Thank you.
You have just listened to an exclusive interview on Maximum Threshold Radio. Thanks for listening and please visit us at MaximumThreshold.net.